Hey fellow traders, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to show you the inside bar trading strategy that I personally use. Okay, this is a trading strategy that allows you to catch big trends with low risk. Okay, what do I mean by low risk? I mean you have a tight stop loss. Okay, so by applying this strategy, you'll be able to have very good risk to reward trades. Okay. So let's get into today's video. So this is what I'll be talking about today. Okay, I'll first define what an inside buy is. Okay, just in case you know you're new to trading, you do not know what inside buy is. I just want to do a brief uh, introduction to what an inside buy is. Okay, and I want to show you why it is so powerful. Okay, I don't just want to tell you that oh this strategy is powerful, but I want to show you. I want to use some numbers to show you that uh, this strategy really has the potential to help you make good reward to risk. Trades. Okay, it means that if you put in a dollar, right, let's say you risk a dollar, you can make three dollars, four dollars. Okay, so this is a very powerful trading strategy that I like to use because I personally like to uh, have a tight stop loss. I do not like to have a big stop loss, right, because uh, the wider your stop loss, the um, lower your risk to reward ratio. Okay. The next thing I'll do is I will show you a step-by-step -step guide. I want to guide you through the process of how I trade an inside bar. Okay. Then after that, I want to give you examples to show you how to do it in with the charts, right? And lastly, I want to show you how not to do it. Okay, a lot of traders are uh, they kind of you know they kind of heard about this uh, inside bar trading strategy before, right? This is probably not the first video uh, that you you watch on this um, you know on YouTube, but there are a lot of traders who do it wrongly. Okay, so please uh please take note of this. Please make sure you stay to the end so that you do not trade the inside bar wrongly. Okay, if you do it wrongly, it's going to cost you a lot of money. Okay, and it's not that it doesn't work. Okay, it's that you didn't apply it correctly. Okay, so by the way, if you are new to this channel, right, please give us a thumbs up, right, please hit the subscribe button. Okay, we create a lot of videos like this to help you become a profitable trader. Okay, we also have a free day trading guide for you. The link's in the description. So just scroll down, Oh, click on the description and you should see the link to the, this free day trading guide that we have prepared for you, okay? So let's jump into today's video, okay? So what is an inside bar, okay? So over here, I have a picture of what an inside bar is, okay? So inside bar, as the name suggests, is a very simple pattern where you have the uh, bar, this bar over here, it's inside the pyro bar, okay? What we call the mother bar, okay? So the entire candle, right, including the high and the low is within the range of the previous candle okay so the previous candle you have the high and the low that is your previous candles range okay an inside bar simply means that uh this in this bar it's its entire range is inside the range of the previous candle okay very straightforward this picture uh, demonstrates it so you can see that for the mother bar uh, this is the high this is the low okay and this inside bar is basically the entire range of this candle is inside this mother bar okay again if you are new to trading and you do not know how to read candlesticks yet you are totally new right our free day trading guide covers all this which teach you how to read charts how to read market conditions all there so just make sure you grab a copy of that okay so an inside bar is best used when there is a you know trend already meaning that it's it's really trending there is a pyro trend or there's an impulsive move okay it is meant to be used as a continuation pattern okay this is very important we want to use this as a continuation pattern okay this is very important we do not want to trade this pattern okay we do not want to trade this pattern in a ranging market okay because this is meant as a continuation pattern meaning that price has really moved up it starts consolidating and you are trying to catch the next up move or down move okay so depending on uh, what whether the pyro trend is uptrend or downtrend you're just trying to catch that move okay so please understand the context of it do not blindly apply this uh inside trading bar strategy to you know every single inside bar that you see okay that will blow your account so please do not do that okay so let's move on so let me explain to you why this is so powerful okay the way we do things in this channel is uh, we like to explain to you why certain things work and certain things don't work okay we don't just want to tell you to do this to do that right we want to give you the explanation and this portion of these this uh trading video i want to sh show you why this trading strategy is so powerful okay i want to use some numbers okay so earlier on i explained that this uh inside trading strategy has a very tight stop loss and the potential to capture an 
explosive trend, meaning that you have a very small stop loss and you can potentially catch a very big movement. Okay, so in this case, I want to run you through an, ex an example. Okay, in this case, it would be a euro dollar. Okay, so euro dollar, if you trade one standard lot, is about ten dollars per pip. Okay, a standard lot is actually hundred thousand. Okay, just just in case uh, you do not know. Okay. So if you are trading on MetaTrader 4, that's a 1, okay, 1, 1 1.0 uh, lots, okay. So consider scenario 1 and scenario 2, okay. So in scenario, scenario 1, uh, your distance to your stop loss is 30 pips, okay. So if you are risking $100, okay, that would mean that uh, you can buy a proximate uh, position size of about 0 0.33, okay. And if let's say your take profit is 100 pips, Okay, if price were to hit your take profit, you will make approximately $330. Okay, so this is scenario one. Okay, now let's look at scenario two. Okay, let's say your stop loss is wider. Okay, maybe you are swing trading, you're doing some other forms of trading, which uh, requires you to have a wider stop loss. Okay, so basically your stop loss is 100 pips. Okay, now if you are risking the same amount of money, okay, which uh, we advocate, okay, we, we advocate that uh, you risk a set amount of money per trade and then you adjust your position size, okay? We do have other videos about this concept. Uh, so uh, if you are confused, just check out our other videos about position sizing, okay? So in this case, if you are risking both $100 uh, and this stop loss is, you know, 100 pips, then you can only buy a position size of 0 0.1, okay? Now, in this case, if you have the same exact take profit, you're only going to make $100, you see. You see the difference, right? You're only going to make $100. You're not going to make $330, okay? So what's the lesson here? The lesson here is simple. When your stop loss, you know, is tighter, meaning that uh, you have a smaller stop loss, your position size will go up, meaning that you can buy more of, of a currency or an instrument. And if you can buy more, and if you can buy more of a currency, then what happens is that your overall profit is going to go up. Okay, even if both sides, the take profit is the same, meaning that this is 100 pips, this is, is 100 pips as well, you are going to make much more money in this scenario, right? Scenario number one, where you have a tight stop loss, okay? And that is why this strategy is so powerful, right? Because this inside bar trading strategy allows you to have a very tight stop loss, okay? And not to mention that you are trading with the trend, okay? So if price really explodes in your direction, you are able to catch an explosive trend with a very small stop loss, okay? So that's the potential of this strategy. And this is why this is one of my favorite ways to trade, okay? Because this kind of setup gives me the best uh, reward to risk ratio, okay? Meaning if I put in a dollar, I can perhaps expect to make $3, okay? This is not like a scalping strategy where I put in a dollar, I might only make 120 or 130, okay? So this is a very uh, powerful strategy, okay? So hopefully you understand that. So let's move on. Let me just clear this up. Then uh, we can move on to how do you actually do it, okay? Okay, so I've cleared this up. So let's move on. So now what I want to show you step by step, how do you trade an inside bar? Okay, now the first thing you want to do is you want to identify an impulsive move slash a big extended range candle in a single direction. Okay, if you want to buy, then of course, uh, you look for bullish candles. If you want to sell, then you want to look, look for bearish candles. Okay, then the next thing is you need an inside bar, right? Because you're trying to trade an inside bar. Okay, once you identify inside bar, then what you do is you place a buy or sell stop above or below the uh, high or low of the inside bar. Okay, then the last step involves placing a stop loss uh, at the opposite end of the inside bar just to make sure that uh, you manage your risk. Okay, so this is the process. It's a very straightforward process, but uh, let me just walk you through it. Okay, I want to show you how to do it. I have charts for you. Okay, so let, let me just uh, erase this first. Okay, so this is the first example that I have for you. Okay, so uh, what we are looking at is uh, euro dollar again. Okay. So step number one, you want to identify impulsive move, okay, or big extended range candles, okay. So this over here, uh, you can see that it's a very nice uptrend. So you do have the impulsive move to the upside, right? And then you have this candle over here, okay. This candle over here is extended range candle, okay. So what do I mean by extended range candle? Uh, I mean that the candle is big, okay. It's a big size candle, okay. First, is the size of the candle is big. 
Second thing is that the candle closes at the high of uh, the entire range. So you can see that this candle closes here, which is near the top of uh, the entire uh, candles range. Okay, so you want to see big candles, right? You want to see strong movement and you want to see the candle closing high, okay? So in this case, you, you do have this uh, extended range candle here. Okay, this is the extended range candle here and you have a uh, nice uptrend, okay? The next step is to look for a um, inside bar, okay? So over here, I've labeled it. You have an inside bar over here. Okay, this is your inside bar. So what you do is that you place a buy stop, okay? So a buy stop is ba basically an order that will be triggered if price hits the, the level above, uh, the, above the current market price, right? So if, if price is trading somewhere here, it will, not, it will not trigger your trade. But when price trades here, let's say you put a buy stop over here, then your trade will be triggered. Okay, so you can do a buy stop here and you can put your stop loss just below the low of the uh, inside bar. Okay, so in this case, you can see that uh, this has been, this, this will be a nice trade. Okay, of course, you might say I'm cherry picking, right? I'm definitely cherry picking because I just want to show you that uh, this is the process. Okay, this is definitely a, you know, a winning trade. Okay, but what's important is that you understand the process. Okay, there are going to be losing trades. There are going to be winning trades. But what happens is that if you can be consistent in applying this strategy, okay, you will be able to turn a profit, okay? Because as I said, your stop loss is very small and your reward is very big, right? Because you're trying to catch a trend with very small stop loss, okay? So your winners should be able to pay for, pay for your losers, okay? But what is important is that you are consistent and you stick to this uh, strategy, okay? If you need to, you know, test it, right? Spend some time, maybe go through 100 examples to just back test it to prove to yourself that, you know, this strategy works, okay? Okay, let me show you another example. Okay, this is another example. So let me just take you the, through the steps again. Okay, so step number one, impulsive move, okay? So we have a nice move here, okay? We also have extended range candle over here. This is your extended range candle, the one in white over here. So you can see that it's a big candle and it closed quite close to the top. Okay, so this is a extended range candle in, in, in the bullish direction. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to identify an inside bar, right? Because this is an inside bar trading strategy. So of course, you need an inside bar. So you can see over here, let me just show it, that there's an inside bar over here. Okay, so what do you do when you see this inside bar being formed? You place a buy stop higher and put your stop loss below. Okay, so this is how you do it. Very straightforward, very easy to apply. But the problem is that most people miss out on step one. Okay, they just start identifying every single inside bar and they start trading. Okay, so please uh, do not do that. Okay, inside bars do not work well in a range scenario. Okay, in a range scenario, you want to buy low, you want to sell high. Okay, you do not want to buy the breakout. Okay. So please understand what I'm trying to say. Please understand the context, okay? Please do not just start applying this on every single inside bar such as this one here. You know, this is ranging. And if you were to do like a buy here, you're going to lose money, okay? So please understand uh, step number one, okay? Do not proceed to step number two or three if step number one is not present, okay? Okay, if I'm not wrong, I have one more example for you. So let me just uh, go through the last example and then I'll end off the video by showing you how not to trade it, okay? So this is the last example that I have for you. So same thing again, let me just walk you through the process so that uh, I really drive home the point, right? And this, this guide, how to really do it. Okay, so step number one, identify impulsive move. So you have an impulsive move again, okay? Then this itself is also an extended range candle. You notice that I'm always doing the same thing, okay? You just need to be consistent in applying this, okay? You see that this extended range candle, you have a candle that is very big, it's a big size candle, and it closes near the top, okay? So this is your extended range candle, and then after that comes a inside bar over here, okay? So you have inside bar here, so what do you do? You place a buy stop above, and you place your stop loss below. Okay, so that is how you do it. Very simple. Okay, so if you have any questions, you know, any doubts, just feel free to comment down below. Okay, we love to help you. Just let us know what the issues you have with this strategy. If you need further clarifications, anything, just leave a comment down below. Okay, if not, please feel free to reach out to my team as so well. We can be contacted at support at financialmarketwizards.com. Okay. Okay, so these are the examples I have prepared for you. Now, I want to talk about how not to trade an inside bar. Okay, a lot of people get it wrong. So I want to 
cover this before I end off the video, okay? Because this will literally determine whether you make money with this strategy or not, okay? So please make sure you listen to this part, okay? The first thing you need to remember is that an inside bar is only used as a confirmation pattern. So, sorry, not confirmation pattern, but continuation pattern, right? When there's a trend already and you're trying to enter into the trend, okay? If there is no trend or you're in a consolidating slash ranging market, then you do not want to be trading the inside bar. Okay, and if you do not see that there is this uh, extended range candles, which I've explained earlier, okay, if, if you do not see this, this kind of candles, extended range candles over here, right, then do not trade, okay, skip that inside bar, okay, you always want to see this kind of, uh, this kind of extended range candle followed by an inside bar, then you take the trade, okay, if you do not see this, then do not uh, enter into the trade at all, okay. So let me show you an example of when it's not a good idea, okay? So this is an example of when you should not trade an inside bar, okay? If you can see over here, uh, this is the euro dollar again, but what happens is that uh, this, this is in a ranging market, okay? So let me see if I can uh, get out my pen. Somehow it's not working, okay? So in this case, we are in a range market, okay? So the market is consolidating. So in a range market, you want to buy low, you want to sell high. You do not want to be trading in the middle of the range and you know try to, to buy the breakout when the breakout hasn't happened, okay? So in this case, uh, this engulfing, sorry, not engulfing, this inside bar over here, you should not be trading it, okay? In fact, if you look at the candle to the left, you do not even see an extended range candle, okay? This is not even an extended range candle, this one over here, okay? So if that's not an extended range candle, then uh, do not proceed with trading uh, this pattern at all. Okay, so this is very important. Please apply it correctly. Okay, please, we do not want you to blow your account. So please, uh, if you have any questions, just feel free to clarify. Okay, so let me just do a recap. Let me just do a recap of uh, today's lesson and uh, then we'll end off this video, okay? So today I talk about what is an inside bar, okay? So inside bar is basically when uh, your candle is inside the range of the previous candle, okay, the high and the low, okay, is inside, okay. I explained to you why it is so powerful, why this trading strategy is so powerful, right, because uh, it allows you to enter uh, a trade or, you know, a trend, trend following trade with a very small stop loss, okay. So when your stop loss goes, uh, your stop loss is small, you can buy a bigger position and therefore if the market were to move in your intended direction, you're going to make more money, okay. Then I also gave you a three-step process to trade an inside bar. Step one is to identify an impulsive move slash, uh, you know, extended range candle. Step two is to look for an inside bar and, you know, place your buy or sell stop order. Then step number three is place your stop loss in, okay. I've also given you examples, so feel free to, you know, re re watch this video scroll back and you know try to understand each of these examples and go to the chart yourself and practice okay please practice this right before you trade this live uh, with money please go practice it okay please do some back tests okay and lastly i show you how not to trade inside bar okay Bas basically the idea is not to trade an inside bar when uh, you are in a range market and you do not see any form of um, extended range candles or big impulsive candles in your direction okay if not that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the Telegram channel.